Okay, my name is Chester, so I'm here for, at the Museum Nagara for the Chris. And the Chris actually, the words derives from the old Sanyananjaya word, which is means to match, to cut, and to sewer. This is my favorite Chris. This is the Chris Sanyananjaya and the Peninsula Chris. Thank you. Yep. A crease can be divided into three parts the blade, the hilt, and the sheath. These parts of the crease are objects of art often carved in meticulous detail and made from various materials such as metal, precious, or rare types of wood, or gold and ivory. Hi, so the crease must be compatible with its owner and is usually custom built for a specific person according to his rank and status. And here we have my favorite curries, which is curries Riau Bugis, originated from Johor Riau Linga. So regarding the design of the curries, each wave of the curries is called the lobe and the number of lobe on the blade indicates the status of the owner. So hence in the case of a warrior, you will have three lobes, whereas in the case of a raja or a sultan, you will have nine waves. of Chris are required to bathe in oil the Chris during the month of Muharram to retain the weapon's supernatural powers. If the Chris is neglected, it may cause the guardian spirit to depart from the weapon. So there's one of the Chris that I found, which is the ceremonial Chris, and it comes from Bugis type derived from Plantain. When held correctly, it becomes an extension of the forefinger, with the user having total control over the weapon. The hilt is gripped like a pistol at waist level with the blade parallel to the ground. Museum in Colombo 7 as well as in the upper floor. 